There's nothing like chilling with my girls. Just me and my divas taking over the world. What's up, love? So let's get into this video. I'm going to be using several different palettes. I'm going to be using the Sedona Lace Little Miss Grace palette, the BH Cosmetics Eyes on the 70s, and the Revealed Palette 1, which is from Coastal Scents. The first thing that I'm going to be applying to my lids is my Micah Beauty Eyeshadow Primer, which I will highly recommend. This eyeshadow primer is like a Z-bomb. I absolutely love it. Now, I'm going to go ahead and take my Sedona Lace um, eyeshadow palette and the first color I'm going to use is the color called forest which I'm going to be using as my transition color this is a beautiful kind of not too matte but it's a beautiful like a light bronze color I love this color so I'm going to sweep that on my entire lids with my Sonia Kashuk brush and then I'm going to go into one of my favorite facial press powders which is L'Oreal Press. <laughs> facial press powder in the color cocoa. I use this a lot for a lot of my transition colors and it's just facial powder. Of course you can use it on your eyes but it's a beautiful color and I think it goes well with a lot of my different eyeshadow looks. Now to top it off I'm going to be using the Beach Cosmetics Eyes on the 70 palette and I'm going to take that kind of little shimmer brown, it's like a dark brown and I'm just going to do kind of like an outer V and inward with my Sedona Lace brush and I'm just going to sweep that in the corners of my eye and a little bit over my crease area. I love Sedona Lace brushes. They are like a must-have. I have a huge collection of them and I've been using them for quite some years. So I'm just going to take that and I'm just going to apply some more of my eyeshadow primer because of course some of my eyeshadow has fallen off onto it and I wanted to make sure the eyeshadow pops. Now this is a shadow that I bought from rickysnewyork.com and it's got by a make a line called Matisse Elite. I'm not really sure if they're still available, but I paid a dollar for this. And this was like a really light pink. So what I did was I went and applied that and I'm gonna take that Peachy Shimmer Shadow from the BH Cosmetics palette and I'm going to apply that on top of that matte pink. That matte pink also looks kind of white on camera, but it really is like a really, really light pink. So I'm going to take my eyeshadow brush and I'm just going to pack that on my lower lid and I'm going to go back into that same brown and kind of like clean it up just a little bit and kind of soften the outer corners and a little bit over my crease. Back into my L'Oreal pressed powder, I'm going to just clean that up and just smoke it out a little bit, make it a lot softer so there are no harsh lines. Now also back into the Sedona Forest color, just bringing that up just a little bit almost before my brow bone. I'm going to take that matte eggshell yellow and I'm going to use that from the Reveal palette under my brow bone just to give it a little spice. It is a matte color and it's a great color especially for your under brow. Now one of my favorite eyeliners which is from Milani is their iTech liquid eyeliner pen. I absolutely love this. I have another one by them which I love and I'm not like a huge fan of doing winged eyeliner. Sometimes I am very winged eyeliner challenged. So the best bet for me is to kind of start from the outer corner sometimes. It all depends on the look that I'm really going for, to be honest. I'm just going to take that and draw me a nice winged eye look. Now it's time for the face. One of my favorite products is the Benefits Pore Professional. This stuff makes your uh, foundation go on flawless, ladies. Like It really helps with the pores, but it gives your skin this beautiful finish. Now, I'm going to be using two foundations, which is Mary Kay Bronze 304 and their beige, and I'm going to mix them together with the Hard Candy Glow All the Way in Tropical Tan. I need the perfect color. Unfortunately, you can't have that sometimes, so I'm going to take my Sedona Flat Buffer Brush, and I'm going to go ahead and buff that into my skin, and it just gives me this beautiful full coverage look. I love this brush. I have two of them. This is their Midnight Collection. Ladies, if you need makeup brushes, I really suggest using Sedona Lace. Their brushes last a long time. I've had these brushes that I'm using right now before I moved to Arizona, which was over two years ago. They last, they don't shed. They're just well, good, they're just good brushes. Now to buff it out and just let my makeup look flawless, I'm gonna be taking my 
Real Techniques Beauty Blender Sponge, which I highly suggest, and I'm gonna bust that out. And now with my Mary Kay Time Wise, which is a matte foundation in beige four and beige six, I'm gonna use it as my highlight. The first color I'm gonna use is beige six because it's a little bit darker and I want just full coverage under my eyelids. So I'm gonna go ahead and contour with that first. And with the bottom end of that Real Techniques Beauty Blender Sponge, I'm going to pat that into my eyes. I'm also going to take the more tipped edges and just contour my face with that. Now for the beige 4 which is lighter, I'm going to do the same technique as well. And this one is just going to give me a more highlighted look because it is a lot lighter. I really like this foundation by Mary Kay. Unfortunately, I just had to mix the first ones I have. That was an older brand by them and I have loads of them that are brand new. So I went ahead and used them and mixed them together. But with the new TimeWise matte, they work really good. Like I don't see any creases, they last all day on your skin. So I just so love like the Mary Kay foundation right about now. Now one of my all time favorites is my Fashion Fair uh, foundation stick in the color Espresso. Sometimes I use the color Teak which is a little dark. I'm going to be using Espresso now. And I'm just going to use that to contour. I love like a cream foundation to contour with. And I'm just gonna go ahead and beat my face with this Beauty Blender sponge, like really like beat my face. Like beat, pound, pound, hit my face. But yeah, the Beauty Blender sponge works like marvelous for like contouring and stuff. It really does, you just need to be very consistent and patient and just continuously hit your face over and over again, like continuously. Until you get it blended in really well. Now just to contour some of my nose area with this foundation, like Fashion Fair has been around forever y'all, like forever. So I really, really am like a favorite lover of it. I'm gonna take some of that Time Wise, Time -wise Foundation by Mary Kay and also highlight underneath my cheekbones and blend that in as well. So you see my highlight and my contour is popping right about now. You don't need a lot. I love the Beauty Blender sponge for it, it's perfect. And it's a little bit time, it's the time for some baking, some cooking of my face. So I'm going to be using some Ben Nye Banana Powder. I'm not saying I'm a huge fan of it, but it does get the job done. So I'm going to let that cook for just a few minutes. And while that's baking and cooking, y'all, of course you got to make sure you get the contour or the highlighted areas. So while that's baking and, um, and cooking, I'm going to go ahead and use my YSL mascara on my individual lashes. I do have a video on how to apply the individuals. I keep these same lashes on for two weeks. I hate getting up in the morning and putting on lashes. So the individuals just work for me. They look more realistic and I love them. For the bottom lashes, I'm going to be using Benefits Dear Real Mascara. I love this brush because it's super small at the tips and it gets perfect on the bottom lashes. Like right there to the point on those bottom lashes. If y'all see them bottom lashes forming, it's because of the benefits. So yes, y'all. Now to contour my nose just a little bit, I'm going to use that same L'Oreal True Match Press Powder in Cocoa and my Sonia Kashuk Fluffy Brush and I'm just going to contour my nose bridge just a little bit and highlight it a tiny bit and use that sponge to top it off. I want to make sure that I have kind of like a button nose so I'm giving a little bit more attention to the bottom portion of my nose and to set my makeup, one of my favorites is the Milani multitask facial powder and this one is in the color medium tan and one of my favorite brushes is the E2 um, Kabuki brush which you can get at your local beauty supply store. A little bronzer by Model Company which I got from my monthly subscription of BoxyCharm and my favorite contouring brush which is also by Sedona Lace. And to top off that nose point, I'm going to be using Flowers Cosmetic, which is their Chubby Highlight Stick and Shimmer Pearl. And also to highlight, I'm going to be using some of that e.l.f. along with my Physician's Formula, which I actually got from the dollar store. This Sedona Lace brush is like bomb.com, you guys. You can use it for everything. As you can see, I went ahead and contoured, and I'm now going to be blushing on some blush by Ofra with the same brush and topping it off with my favorite Blissful Lips lip color by Milani. Love this color and their new, or it's not too new, but their lip gloss. So yes, y'all, yes, yes, my face is done and I love it. Like, 
so done. And the ponytail, of course, is my clip-in extensions from Heavenly Locks, which I will have a tutorial up on soon. It's too daggone hot outside, so a girl has to make sure that she can breathe, like breathe. Yes, a full head of clippings in a ponytail. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you guys soon. Bye!